Taylor Swift is about to induct a new member, rising star Alicia Cara, into her squad, so naturally, she sat her down and got to grilling during a little one-on-one -on -one time. Well, Taylor can add celebrity reporter to her long list of skills as she dug right into the dirt with Alicia. Stay tuned for all the details. Being on the other side of an interview is something we're not exactly used to seeing Taylor Swift do, but all you hardcore Swifties probably know every single thing there is to know about her, so she turned the hot seat over to one of her musical idols, Canada native Alicia Carr. The fangirl admiration between Alicia and Taylor has gone back and forth for quite some time now. Just before Alicia had joined Taylor in her stop in Tampa during her 1989 tour, Tay instantly fell in love after she heard Alicia's cover of her Bad Blood song, which is epic and you should check it out. As the two reminisced on Alicia's experience singing with Taylor in front of 55,000 fans, Alicia revealed that after the performance, quote, I went to my dressing room and I bawled my eyes out because of you, so thank you for making me cry. Well, Taylor has made us all cry and we're all thankful for it. Taylor then pointed out that Alyssa's hit track here is not a usual track about a fun party, but quite the opposite. A true story about a party being lame, which we can all relate to at one point or another. That is a brilliant song and you should listen to it. Is here a true story? Like, were you really at the world's worst party? Yes, um, oh. and it was a horrible, it was a horrible party. Was there really like somebody throwing up and there's like... Yes, and actually I, I gathered those people from the party and I put them in the video. Taylor was quick to correct anyone who thinks Alyssa is a loner, saying that the song is, quote, less of a loner vibe and more of a very in touch with reality vibe. Touche, Taylor. Also, maybe it's not bad to be a loner. Another interesting fact from the interview was when Alyssa revealed that her mum tricked her into singing after she was afraid to do it in public. She recalls going into the closet, making her mum close her eyes and promise to never make her sing again. So I sang for her and then she started crying and she's like, oh my gosh, you're gonna do it, like you're gonna do this. I just feel like you're just gonna be like successful. I just feel it, this is what you're meant to do. And then I was like, okay mom, but you have to promise me not to ever make me sing again. And she was like, yeah. But judging by all of Alyssa's rising success, that promise didn't last too long. Alyssa told Taylor that her mum then made her sing in front of friends and family every chance she got. She then became more comfortable. She started posting covers of songs on YouTube. One that caught a producer's eye was Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. I didn't want to tell anyone at school what was going on. So I just sneak off after school go to this studio in Toronto downtown and just make these songs. And I didn't even know that I was making my album at the time, which is kind of cool. Hard work obviously paid off and Alyssa is quickly making her mark in the music industry already with a successful EP and an album. So we can't wait to see what she does next. I really can't wait to see what she does next. And as for now, I want to know what you guys think about Taylor's interview with Alyssa. And if you like the song, if you liked seeing Taylor take that role on, let me know all your thoughts right down here in the comments section. Also, maybe which Taylor Swift song has made you cry. Um, after that, you can click right over here to check out five underrated Taylor Swift songs. Thanks so much for checking in with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Andrew Blick, and I will see you next time. And then click to the left to check out some of the best Taylor Swift duets pre-1989, and click on the right to see four of the hottest celeb BFFs on Debatable.